Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here on the Hardcore series. And yes, I do know that uh, the last video here was six months ago or something like that, but just, just let me do my little intro thing and then I'll explain that later. I hope you're all doing well. And we have got a bit of destroying to do. I know, that's a little bit of a way to start the episode, eh? Uh, we got some destroying to do. Mm-hmm. What, did you think I was gonna destroy this or something? Like, no. No, we're gonna destroy this zombie. Ha, <laughs> get out of here. Jokes aside, we're not destroying this. I just wanted to show you guys what we did in the last episode. We built this nether portal here, and we're kind of bringing out this little temple vibe. Uh, that's gonna make its way out here and into the hole with the iron farm that we also built in the last episode. So that's cool. Wait, did we build that in the last episode? Oh man, I think we did. But we are starting out with a little bit of destruction in this episode, and that is of this building right here. I don't like it, okay? Uh, I just, I, I don't. Uh, it doesn't fit. Other than that, hopefully no more destroying in this episode. Let's get to some creating, but first destroying. Oh, hi, this is me talking over this clip of me destroying this house to make it seem like it's more interesting than it actually is. Okay, back to real stuff. Right, so that actually looks like butt cheek. That looks like exposed butt cheek. Okay, so let's um, let's fix this now. I, d I did a little destroying, but now I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're just gonna not do bricks. That's pretty much the main change. And let's see the shape. Yep. Yep. That's so much better than what I had before. I mean, even just seeing like the common theme of strip jungle logs, it just works better. It really does. I don't know what I was thinking. I need dark oak. And of course, I have a grand total of two dark oak stairs. Oi, what you doing on my roof there, bud? Huh? That's not, that's not very nice of you. Oh, oh, did he have dark oak saplings? I mean, I don't need dark oak saplings, but I think that's kind of ironic and funny. Um, should I be concerned, Wandering Trader? What was that? Ah, huh. it looks like I'm not the only one that kills the llamas. Oh, that is, that is like irrefutable evidence. No shame. But I guess now we have video proof that Wandering Traders are murderers. You saw it there. That, that was, that was proof. Yeah. And well, we're flying to the Dark Forest now because I remember in the last episode someone pointed out that my shulker boxes despawned, uh, like two of them or one of them, I don't know. It was it was very briefly in the video and uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna guess that it had all my saplings in it. Sad days. Okay, and with the dark oak now matching up with the other roof, that looks, uh, that looks pretty good. I'm liking that a lot better than what we had with the bricks. Um, but guys, I have a confession to make. It's been four months, four months, since I've last recorded on this world. Four months. So yeah, that's kind of a long time. Like, that is, that is a really long time. Uh, I'm trying to get back into video making. It's just like, when one thing ends, another thing comes up in my life, and then I try to, I, I get, I get sidetracked with another thing, and then videos go on the back burner because they can but these other things can't, so then it's like this, it's, it's really a cycle, and I <laughs> sometimes I just want to sit down and play Minecraft, you know? Uh, but more recently, my relaxation has been playing uh, the new Zelda game, so that, that is life. Uh, I feel like every video is having a life update, life, a life update, but we're not going to focus on that uh, in this video. I actually just want to build. I just want to enjoy some building with you guys today. And uh, I'm not exactly sure when I made these plans here, but I think these would be some really cool buildings to work on today. But I don't really have the materials to work on uh, those buildings over there, at least right now. So we're actually just going to focus on um, a, a little project that like I walk by it every single like every single time. It's these trees, you know, just we're going to start simple. I want to build these trees. I'm looking at my watch and I've got 27 minutes until I've got some other things to do. So, uh a tree. I just want to build some trees and play some Minecraft. Uh, this all is going to feel so weird in the video, but um, believe me, guys, this is like, you know, I'm just, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good to get back into this game and just play. Oh, and I know I said I wasn't going to give a life update, but uh, here's three words to update my life. Overambitious achiever. 
that's me. And that's why uh, I get carried away with uh, different projects. But I'm here, and I'm ti it's time for me to get carried away making Minecraft videos, what I really also love doing. So hopefully that continues, mm -hmm. and uh, thanks for listening. And now I'm going to try to just ignore talking about my personal life, because it might get a little stale hearing about it every single video. Not to say that my life is stale, but uh, Minecraft. Minecraft is what you came here to watch, so let's focus on that. Okay, so I've been chipping away at this for a little bit, and I th I think I've got it to a point where I can... I'm pretty happy with it. There's like a few bare spots that I gotta, you know, fix up, but that's pretty good. It has like a lot of definition, but it has air, but it's tall and big, and I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. And maybe what we do here, I got this little idea. So if we go like this, this... It sort of, you gotta use your imagination a little bit, but it sort of looks like uh, one of those um, holes, like, in the tree. Is it, like where squirrels live or something? Eh? I can't, uh... No, it's not a good idea. But I really love the way it fills up the scene around here, and you walk around, and it kind of blocks uh, the vision of the village over here. It's kind of cool, and then it reveals itself... Obviously, we're going to have a building there, but I think the viewpoint from, like, right here is going to be pretty awesome. Okay, so now we are getting somewhere, definitely. I love the little nature -y forest feel as you get in here like once this place used to be kind of a forest I don't really know if that makes sense in like a little valley ditch but whatever we're gonna pretend this place was a forest and this is like kind of what it was and I think that's kind of nice you know oh we do have to remove this hi uh yeah we're gonna remove you anyway that's just a few trees let me share with you guys a vision I have okay so you're walking out here right you're walking out here and you come across this farmland it's beautiful and then these two tall towers are sitting right here blocking the view of the valley but then you get to this point all right and you get to see the sun set right there right in between two towers so honestly this video has been filmed over like three months oops sorry uh but i don't really remember if i've said anything about these here anyways towers i want to build some towers here but not just any towers windmills and the goal obviously is to look really awesome but also to kind of enclose this space into some sort of lush beautiful farmland place that's just it feels like its own area instead of uh off you know it can go on forever right it's this, it's this closed off space but yeah that's the goal at least uh one issue though is that uh i need like birch wood we have five uh i need spruce wood we have none dark oak wood we have one uh we have probably more in here oh yeah we have some more right there but uh resources kind of a problem okay so i'm digging out this little area here because i've never actually had like a designated spot sorry my dog's barking in the background i've never had a designated spot to um plant trees and grow them and break them i've always just kind of thrown them around everywhere wherever i'm working and that's that's a problem so i'm digging out this little area it's i'm getting annoyed i'm getting annoyed i need like lots of wood for this i think so we're gonna need lots of space to grow the trees and if i'm gonna go for like a foresty feel like what we just did right there oh we're also gonna need a lot more leaves and wood so i think this is just gonna be a good advancement Alright, and we got some wood, and we're growing some more trees, and actually I wanted to remove all this podzle because well, we really need it. Like, all the terraforming I do, uh, well, it's over by the farm, but we use podzle, and it's kind of an annoying resource to get, <laughs> not gonna lie. But growing the big spruce trees, you kinda, you gotta get two in one, you know, you get the podzle and the wood, so kind of a win-win. Anywho, walking under these trees, I did go ahead and build the foundation to one of the towers. Boom! There it is, and uh, there's a side missing because I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna build like something there. I mean, I think it's gonna be pretty imposing if we have one there and one there, 
and imagine there's like a uh, it probably is like uh, maybe to like there I think well they, I don't know maybe there I don't really know how, how tall I want them but it's not too tall but tall enough to feel tall hopefully that makes sense it's gonna make sense when I build them that's that's what I keep saying uh, and what I always tell myself but uh, I do need to get more resources we're gonna build the other one and keep working on this but you know guys I'm pretty silly I removed my beacon and I need more stone resources like why did I why did I remove it it's, it's a question I will keep asking myself because it was in a perfect spot and now I need to set it back up so why did I remove it I don't know it's beyond me and uh, I guess we'll set it up in here uh, we have a pretty open big space this is like right by uh, the iron farm uh, yeah this space seems pretty good Anyways, it's back to stone digging for me and tower building, I guess. Okay, so I'm here in the wheat fields, and I've realized a couple things. One, well I've started working on the house, and I need uh, wheat because hay bales. I want to use hay bale roofs, okay? I think I used it like, where did I use it? Somewhere, somewhere over there. I used hay bale roofs, and I really liked it, and I think it would fit. Second problem, well, not, not problem, well, yes, kind of a problem. I, I think this foundation needs to go up more. Like it's just, I want these to be big. Like, really big. So these need to be bigger. It's so like, imagine you're walking across this bridge, right? What, what is blocked there? What The whole entire, like, foundation blocked by these trees, okay? And they're supposed to be small trees. So basically, we need to make it taller. Like, like I'm talking maybe the windmill is, like, up here or something. Something like that, okay? It needs to be bigger. Yeah, I did hay bell roofs right over there. And I think it looks pretty awesome. But anyways, I think it's kind of boring to just go in with more... And a site. Whoops, I think that should be like that. Um, so we're making this little pattern, right? And on the inside, we'll do light gray concrete powder. Just to give it some more depth, I think that'll look pretty cool. Okay, and we got to remember, this is like the stone foundation. And I think, honestly, we'll probably just go up to like here? Here? This seems like a good height. Okay. Okay, now let's go take a look at that. Yeah, oh, well, the I mean, it looks pretty good, but I want to see it from this bridge. All right, so I'm walking, so I'm walking. Oh, yeah. That looks so much better. Yes, I love that height. Oh, and Sunset and Sunset Valley. Look at that beautiful. Okay, so I just finished farming up all the wheat around here in Sunset Valley, and honestly, I thought I'd get a lot more, but this is what I got. That many hay bales. So we did finish this roof, but we're gonna have another building there. And there. So that's gonna be a lot of hay bales. But hey, we'll worry about the hay bales later. I think I wanna uh, finish up this tower here and uh, just see what we can make it look like here, because once we figure out this, and kind of just replicate it over there. I know it might be lame to like have two of the same towers, but I think it's going to be better that way because uh, I want like a little consistency here. I want you to look at these towers and not like compare, hmm, which one's taller, which one's bigger, but kind of just be like, oh yeah, there's like, there's these two like identical um, windmill looking things over here. Just trust me, it's going to be cooler, I think.
Oh, oh, oh yeah, now look at that. Now that, uh, these haste particles are kind of, uh, but, 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 this looks awesome. I totally love that feeling. We got that feeling, that imposing feeling that kind of like, I don't know, uh, I don't want to say traps you in the valley, but kind of just like, it encompasses this vibe and that's really good but these towers uh not gonna lie they're looking a little plain okay we got some windmills blades they're, they're weird uh that's fine and we got some windows but um this one it's got like nothing and these houses have nothing and the terraforming is bad so there's some work to be doing now this here is actually a cave that i want to have come out yeah yep yeah, right here okay and uh it's just a way to get over this way that's different i guess i think that's gonna be pretty cool but on the surrounding areas we definitely need to terraform uh this up make it look a little spicier you know gotta add some spice to our dish i think i've used cooking metaphors in like the past four of my videos or something like that or at least I feel like it, but you know, this this dish right now, it's got salt and pepper, uh, which is great, but uh, well, we need more. We need some spice. Oh yeah, and that's a little better. That's like, we just added some spicy peppers to that dish. Okay, uh, maybe I should come up with a name for this dish. What are we cooking? I, I don't know. Um, I think I'm just going to stop with the cooking metaphors. That doesn't really work now, does it? Okay, and as far as this tower goes, we kind of got some weirdness going on here. I think we're going to kind of just... Eh. You know, just kind of eh. Then for the ground, we're going to keep things simple as well. Probably just a little bit of pods, a little bit of core dirt. That zombie echo is really getting to me. Uh, yeah, I really should deal with that zombie. Yeah, and there you have it. That's something just a little spicier. I like it. I do like it. The cave's a bit small, but we're just gonna work with it, I suppose. It's not too big of a deal. And I think generally I'm just gonna continue this sort of, whoops, whip, whip, stone. This terraforming style zombie. Oh my god. Is it over there? I think it is. Uh, I'm gonna continue it, like just over in this area. Maybe do a little sprucing up. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. God, you guys need to be done. Seriously. Go away. Alright, guys, so I'm just gathering some sand here so we can go back and terraform it near the river. But, uh, I've got some cool progress to show you on our windmills. Alright, so let's go check on the windmill progress. Okay, look at that. Now, uh, this one, a little more plain. You know, we haven't done too much to it. I added a tree, some basic terraforming, and a little window on the side. But this one, I really love. I think it's pretty close to complete. Maybe like 85% done. Yeah, yeah, it's looking pretty awesome. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I love it. Ooh. And I just needed the sand for this little area over here. I kind of wanted to uh, clean up this little river bank here. And uh, maybe do a little touch up around here. What? Was, is that? Um, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go put some stuff away in my chest, but is this like a new 120 thing? I, I did update to um, Minecraft 120. I just have not heard of that. I heard of the new wood and the sniffer and like, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so it seems to be coming from the mountain over there, so let's go in there, I guess? It really does have quite an ominous glow to it. It's just, I'm like drawn to it. Okay, I hate to leave you guys on a cliffhanger like this, but the rest of this thing is going to have to wait till next episode. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, I hope you're excited. Uh, the reason I'm doing this and leaving it on a cliffhanger is because I haven't posted a video in them. 40 days, which is a little bit of a problem, but um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. It's going to be a good one.